Yeah, you know, we say successful season. We did a lot of good things statistically, but obviously our record wasn't where we wanted it to be. Uh, and at the end of the day, playing in the conference championships, one thing, but winning a conference championship is our goal. Uh, I've met with guys over the past two weeks. Uh, our vision for the short term is to practice and work like champions, so this time next year we will be champions. Um, and I think our coaching staff, our players have all bought into that. Uh, but to taste some success this year was good, and to completely revamp an offense from what Bellhaven is known for to change the demeanor of a defense. Uh, was phenomenal for us. Uh, and to start 0-3 and, and to win six of those last eight were big. And again, we lose a game by six in overtime, a last second field goal, and then by four in a championship game, we know what we can do. And we've talked about it too, you know, close to uncounted football. Uh, you gotta finish. And so our mantra for the spring is gonna be just that finish, everything, every drill, uh, every rep, whatever it is, we've got to finish. And so am I excited about the direction of Bellhaven football? No question about it. I'm excited about the young men coming back. And I think our seniors from this past year helped lay a foundation of where we want to be uh, and where I think we're going to strive to be and where ultimately as a staff and as players we will be next year. Well, what we wanted to establish was uh, aggressive play up front. I don't care if it's offense or defense. You've got to dominate in the trenches. Uh, and that's what we built from. Uh, I think on the offensive side of the ball, our coaching staff did a great job of emphasizing uh, winning up front. Uh, we didn't just have a good offensive line, we had a dominating offensive line. can tell you how many times it looked like the defense was on roller skates. Um, uh, Coach Heidelberg uh, at our football banquet said it best, I think the running back took on the mentality of the offensive line. They wanted to be just that aggressive. Uh, when you got leadership like Alex Williams back there who is used to throwing the ball 40, 50 times a game and now we're dialing them back to about 20 to 25. He embraced it. He was a leader. And those receivers that went out, you got a guy like uh, Keelan Pollard who, you know, is, is has tons of yardage the year before, a lot of catches. Well, he had almost just as many yards on half the catches this year. It's just how we did it. And they went out there and blocked. Uh, again, you know, Coach Dizer referenced it too. Uh, we had receivers that were blocking like pulling guards. So, and I think that aggressiveness fed all over the field, but it, it was a big change. Uh, it was a philosophical change in how we wanted to approach what we were doing offensively. Uh, I thought Coach Bowman, Coach George, Coach Dyser, Coach Heidelberg did a great job, uh, Coach Darby, on that offensive side of the football of getting those guys prepared. It's what I wanted. What we did is what I wanted. But uh, we knew coming out of this there's areas we can still improve on. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, those guys wanted more rushing every single game. Uh, and I'm looking forward to what 2013 holds. Well, and we talked about time of possession. One thing I talked about with Coach Bowman early in this thing, I said, listen, I want to win the time of possession battle. The last game, the championship game against Bethel, we had the ball 42 minutes out of 60. And now <laughs> you look and say, well, you know, did defense do that? Well, they did. At 21 points, they held them to them. One was a late score, and one was set up off of a – off of an unfortunate turnover on our part, but that's why you play the game, and it's that give and take. I thought that as we started the year through that 0-3 start, you know, chemistry was a question. Offense, defense, how do you get them to gel? Well, coming out of that Campbellsville game, we knew what we could do, and those guys begin to gel and play hard. Our defense was top 15 in the country in points given up per game and only 17.2 a game. Second in the nation in pass defense, ninth in the nation overall in total defense. Um, 24th overall in Russian defense, and again, some of those numbers were inflated because we played Cumberland, uh, Kentucky, and Cumberland U, and those guys, Bethel, who are all top 10 Russian teams like we are. Um, but I think the style of ball we played offensively during the week prepared our defense as well. Uh, those guys were aggressive. We had some great senior leadership over there. Coach White, Coach Sawyer, uh, some of our student assistants as well, and graduate assistants, and, and Jonathan Reed, and, and Jonathan Johnson, and A.J. Freeman, and those guys on that side of the football did a great job getting those guys ready. And again, I just got to go uh, on and on and on about commending my staff for the job they did. Uh, no head coach in America can say that they do it by themselves. There's no way. Uh, it's important. I think uh, the staff we had this year was bought into what we're doing, and I'm excited because they're bought into what the future is for Bellhaven University football. Right. I think at this level uh, you recruit everything. I don't think you ever stop recruiting. Uh, my theory has always been to recruit to replace. Now, that's not saying our guys aren't good. They know that. We talk about this often. Uh, but we want to establish competition. Uh, but we look at it, what do we, what do we need to go after? We had some senior D linemen. We've been recruiting D linemen. Uh, DBs, a lot of good DBs. I, I mean, Isaiah Wiley, I hope to see him playing next year. Uh, those other senior leaders back there, 
um, that uh, did a great job for us. But we know in this 4-2-5 that DBs are an integral part of what we do. Those outside safeties have to be able to play run support and cover man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, we know we have to have corners who can do their job as well. Having Isaiah Wiley this year was huge. He could literally shut down one side of the field, and it really we were playing you know, 10 on 10. Uh, he kind of did his own thing on an island over there. Uh, but we have some great guys returning too. Lynn Armstrong at free safety. Some of those guys, Justin Mims at corner, who was a great player for us. Um, uh, guys like Marcus Arrington coming back on the D-line. I mean, uh, potentially of Calvin Lewis and Darius Wren staying together at the linebacker position. So, again, we want to bring guys and we want an athletic defense. You know, Coach White's philosophy is I want a safety to be able to play linebacker or a linebacker to be able to play D-line. We want to be that fast. And I think we showed that this year and multiple times in the season. Uh, you know, outside of the uh, Cumberland U game, uh, they gave up over 30 points outside of that. We did a great job of shutting most people down. And so uh, hopefully you can see the passion and excitement brewing over in me just in the fact that uh, I feel strong about what we have coming back um, and look forward to what, what's ahead.